Oh, he is huge. This one's a tank. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That fish is huge. Holy moly. What's up everybody? Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Today we are fishing on the Tennessee River, Nickajack Lake, right in good old Chattanooga, Tennessee. It is a Sunday. It's December 17th. And uh, we're going to be going for a big catfish today. We're using uh, big chunks of cut skipjack. Now this one's little compared to what we're really going to be using is this. And also a big skipjack head. We have pretty good flow. I think the dam is spilling 20,000 cubic feet per second. It's going to drop though later in the afternoon, so I wanted to get out here when the current was decent. It's been a while, guys, since I've last been out. Wrestling season is in full swing, and my weekends are crazy busy with meets and tournaments. So today I have a few hours to do some fishing. So what I'm doing is I'm going behind the backbone. This is typically what I do when I anchor fish. Go behind the backbone. Make sure the tip of the hook is exposed. I'm using an ADOT double action circle hook, Team Catfish brand, with an 80 pound leader. And I think this is 20 inches or so. My main line is 40. And I'm using a slip sinker rig or a Carolina rig. I use a heavier leader line because it has, it provides more abrasion resistance. Because where I'm fishing, it's a rocky bottom. Uh, there's some trees down there. And that heavier leader just helps with abrasion. Fishing in the winter months uh, can be pretty hard. Uh, right now the water temp is, I'm seeing 49 degrees, so it's, it's pretty cold. You don't have to fish deep water in the winter time to catch blue catfish. You really just gotta focus on uh, where the bait's going. And I've caught winter blues in 20 feet of water, sometimes even 15 feet. It just depends on what is there for them, such as bait. There's a lot of structure where they can get cover. Those places will work just fine. Everybody's body of water is a little different where they are, so the big thing is to experiment and figure them out. Oh, fish on, guys. Oh. 
This one's a good one. Fish on. This one's a tank. This one was peeling drag. On the monster rod. Now he's crossed in this line. He's going way over here. This one's a good fish. Right on the Steve Douglas Monster Cat Rod. Very thankful to get a fish on this rod. Oh yeah. Man, look at that. He is peeling drag. I better be careful. Oh. Man, he's pulling the boat, guys. This one's a tank. I'm going to say over 50. The way he just ran like that. Man, he is pulling the boat. Man, this is a good fish. Good fish. This is one mad catfish. We don't have a lot of current in this spot, so this is all catfish that I'm fighting. Man, he is one mad fish. Guys, I want you to hear this drag. Man, what a fish. 
Ash. Jeez. That rod's in the water. The tip of that rod is so bent. Look at that tip. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the clicker. Oh, he is huge. This one's a tank. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That fish is huge. Holy moly. That is a tank. He's definitely over 50. Oh my goodness. This fish. I'm going to take off my hat. Whoo. Oh my gosh, we got him. Oh my gosh. Guys, he is so big. This is a tank of a fish. He may be in the 70s. Oh my gosh. This fish is huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't even lift him up. He's so big. Oh, I can't even lift him up. All right, guys, I'm back. My battery just died as soon as I got the fish in the boat, but look at that girth. Oh my goodness. I have no idea how much this fish weighs, but look at that fish. I'm gonna say in the 70s. It's a tank. Whoa, he's mad. He's mad. But guys, look at that hook. Look at the... <laughs> He's mad, but look at that hook right in the corner of the mouth. That's what you want when you're using circle hooks. Ow, whoo, he just bit down. He just bit down on my thumb, look at that. Oh, yeah, these blues don't mess around, guys. Man, look at that. Oh, goodness. He bit down hard. Look at that, jeez. Guys, he's over 80. He just maxed out over 80. He just bottomed out on my scale. Uh. Uh. Guys, look at this fish. Uh. Uh. Guys, this is a tank. He bottomed out on my 80 pound scale. A beautiful fish. Merry Christmas to myself. Jeez. What a beast. I'm gonna go ahead and do some measurements and get this guy back in the water. Starting at zero, going all the way down. Looks like 52 inches. Now let's do the girth. 52 inches in length, and it looks like its girth is at 38 and three quarters. 52 inch length, with a girth of 38 inches and three quarters. So I forget what the math is, but I think it's length times girth times girth divided by 800. I'll research it, figure it out, let you guys know what it is. But um, let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water. It's really important to release these fish, especially when they're this big. Very blessed and thankful to catch a fish like this because you don't 
see these fish every day. This fish may be a gift to somebody else, and that's why I think it's important to release them. And also, it protects the gene pool in our rivers and lakes. This fish is probably every bit of 20 years or older, and that's why we just got to take care of them. Now, this guy's been out of the water for over 10 minutes, so I'm going to just take my time with him, and uh, I don't want to rush it. There she goes. Back down to the depths. A little slow moving, but she'll be all right. That's pushing 100 pounds. That's a beautiful fish, guys, and my new personal best blue catfish. Uh, my previous personal best was 90 pounds that I caught uh, two Januarys ago. So, such a beautiful fish. So glad to see that fish swim off and and that's what it's about guys with these bigger fish because uh, like I said um, they're they're the breeders and uh, that fish can be a blessing to somebody else so very important to also preserve the trophy fish in our rivers and lakes um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway guys um, I'm gonna give away a mystery tackle box uh, and I'll just kind of tell you what's in it we have some bait ball trouble hooks that you can use for dip baits. Uh, we have some bells here, jingle bells. <laughs> uh, we have a catfish dip bait here, some snap swivels, and this powder bait gel. So all you gotta do guys is just uh, comment your favorite catfish bait. It can be anything. What is your favorite bait to use when catching catfish? So I'll give you guys, uh, today is Sunday. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this video uploaded for you guys tonight. Probably take me a couple hours. So today is Sunday, December 17th. I'll give you guys till Thursday, December 21st at noon. That's 12 p.m. So you'll have today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even Thursday morning comment your favorite catfish bait i'll give you guys till noon i'll draw a winner and have that video out thursday night so i typically upload videos every sunday and thursday at 7 30 so this coming thursday which is december 21st at 7 30 i will have the winner announced in that video and you'll get this box also guys just to talk to you about the tackle i was using I was using my new Steve Douglas Monster Cat Rod. It's Tangling with Catfish brand. I had, I think this is 40 pound main line, trilene big game monofilament fishing line with an Akuma Classic uh, CLX 300L catfish reel. And uh, I had an 80 pound leader. Now I ended up cutting off that leader because it was all tangled in the net but i was using a six ounce sinker with a dual lock snap and here's the leader i was using right here it's like a 20 inch leader this is a team catfish eight dot double action circle hook with a barrel swivel and this is an 80 pound leader line so i just want to tell you guys that be sure to participate in the giveaway and as always, guys, keep those lines wet. Hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Give a thumbs up for this video. And we'll see you guys later. Merry Christmas.